Hey everyone, Kyle Chivestri back with some Square Late Night news for you. So a couple of days after Jack left Twitter, he now has so much time on his hands that he decided it's time for Square to change its name. Now I could have chosen triangle or circle or something like that, but no, he went with block. Now a lot of people might say mm, block, maybe blockchain because he dreams and thinks about Bitcoin each and every day, which might make sense. Hopefully that's not the case and I don't think it is. So we're going to talk about everything you need to know about this name change. It's also not the only part of Square that has changed its name. Square Crypto has changed its name as well. And then at the end of this video, let's look at the graph because like all growth stocks, like all fintech stocks, Square has taken a hit as well and it's now below $200. So we've got the press release here, Square Inc changes name to Block. By the way, the artist that did all the artwork for Block very, very nice. So Block will be the name for the company as a corporate entity. The Square name has become synonymous with the company's seller business, which provides an integrated ecosystem of commerce solutions, business software and banking services for sellers. And this move allows the seller business to own the Square brand it was built for. The change to Block acknowledges the company's growth since the start in 2009. The company has added Cash App, Tidal and TBD 54566975 as businesses. Yes, this is the real name of that part of the business. Block is an overarching ecosystem of many businesses united by their purpose of economic empowerment and serves many people, individuals, artists, fans, developers, and sellers. And a word from Jack here, we built the Square brand for our seller business, which is where it belongs. Block is a new name, but our purpose of economic empowerment remains the same. No matter how we grow or change, we will continue to build tools to help increase access to the economy. This is the website for Block, by the way, you can play some music here. So you see here, Block is not for blockchain, but building blocks. Under that, you have Square, Cash App, Spiral, Tidal, and then TBD with the long number. Now Spiral, you might ask, what Spiral? Glad you asked. So Spiral is the new name that we replace Square Crypto. Now they went and talked about various funny things here. Why not call themselves something with coin or, or something with bit or something like that? I would have expected actually something with Bitcoin related and not something that, well, has nothing to do with it. And actually they said it right here. We wish we had a meticulous Y spiral manifesto to publish, but the truth is that after a long and exhaustic rebranding exercise, it just looked and sounded the coolest. Plus, the blue spiral has been our favorite emoji since week one. Spiral feels right. So to clarify, this is just a name change. Nothing really changes significantly, fundamentally, for all of those businesses, for Square Seller, Cash App, Tidal, Spiral, TBD, etc. All of those will remain the same companies, but because the company has grown so much, it maybe makes sense to change the name Square to something else. I don't know if Block was the best name, but let's go with that because like they said, Square is synonymous to their Square seller business. So maybe they don't want people to talk about Square when they say Square, Cash App, Tidal, and all of that. They want people to talk about Square when they're talking about the seller side of the business. Now I'll quickly touch on the fact that Jack has left Twitter and can now focus on Square solely. That's great. Now I do not want him to focus now even more on everything that has to do with Bitcoin. He has talked about Bitcoin to become the native internet currency. Bitcoin as a currency is not good at all. It's expensive and it's slow. There are other currencies out there that are much better than Bitcoin if you want to use it as a currency. Much, much better but also the fact that he now can focus on Square and focus all of his energy on Square might be a very good thing because if he goes by his mission statement, which is economic empowerment for everyone, everybody needs to have more access and easier access to the economy, maybe he can grow Square on our block into a more global company because right now, let's face it, it's not a global company. It's mostly a United States based company. Maybe they'll grow faster next year in Europe Maybe he will have his wish and will go to Africa and do some things there. Let's see. So that's my opinion on that matter. And now before we finish this video, let's have a quick look at the graph. All right. So since it's all time high, Square is down 
close to 31% or so. I drew this blue line right here because it was a support line back in May and it was also a resistance once last year back in October. Now, whether it will hold or not, I honestly have no clue because the market sentiment right now is all over the place. If you look at the RSI, it is now in the oversold zone. If you look at the MFI, that one has actually bounced back a little bit. So maybe that might be a bullish sign for the couple of weeks to come. So to conclude, the name change came out of nowhere, especially just a couple of days after Jack has left Twitter. No, I don't think one has to do with the other. I think he has known for a long, long time that he wanted to change the name to Block. And maybe after thinking about it, it actually makes sense because Square, the name Square is for the seller side of the business. Obviously, he wants Square now block to be much more than that. As we've seen with Cash App, Tidal, Square Crypto or Spiral, TBD, etc. So maybe it makes sense. What I would like to see next year in the coming years is for Block to become a more global brand and for Jack to focus more on Block, the whole company and the business and a bit less on his Bitcoin obsession. Now that will be it for this video. Let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are on this new name. If you have other options, do let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, maybe hit that subscribe button. And as always guys, take care, stay safe, and see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.